Hey guys, it's me. So, just before we start this video, I want to let you know that um, I had a bunch of syntax moments and errors in this, so some of it may not be as smooth as it would be normally, but it works, and enjoy the video. Hey guys, um, this is my STEM project career demonstration, and um, my career is computer science, and this is going to be my demonstration, and I'm going to be showing you how to code in Python Turtle, and obviously the artifact I'm going to be using is my computer. So, we're going to go put up a web browser, we're going to go to um, riplet.com, right? And we're going to go down here, my, and we're going to go create, we're going to go Python with Turtle, that's important. And then we're going to go to, we're just going to type it, yeah, winged Fortnite Linux PC, because that's the auto name. So we're going to make it public so any of, any, anyone can view it. Or you can make it private, doesn't matter. And it's going to load up. And we're going to have this over here. This is where our turtle will end up being. This is where we have um, the console. So here's where we're going to code. This is already template. So what happens here is, let's delete this just so we have that. Import imports the turtle, which you will see will pop up here. It's a little pixel thing. T is equal to the variable of the turtle. And so anytime we say T, it'll refer back to turtle, like the turtle. Um, this is just basic. So it sets the color of it to C. It's four, it's a for loop. So we'll go there. For C, so for... How many is C, red, green, yellow, blue? That'll be one of those. We don't really need colors. So we're gonna take all that out. We're just gonna keep it with T equals turtle. So now we're gonna do, to make a square, there's an easy way to do it. T dot draw square. I believe that works, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, obviously. It's not gonna, it's not that easy. That was a joke. It honestly, what we just do is we go t dot forward, and then we put in a distance amount. So let's just say, I don't know, fifty. Why not? All right. Then we're gonna go down t dot right. So we turn to the right, and we'll go ninety because we want to we want to draw a square. So we have to turn on a ninety degree angle. Then Instead of typing this out over and over again to make a square, let's make things easier. So what we're going to do is we're going to tab this forward. And those four, that for loop we saw earlier, we're going to go for i in range. So for integer in range, the integer we're going to put is 4. That means this thing, anything in this tab, will repeat four times. For i in range 4, it is going to four times it's going to go forward and then go right and it'll repeat that four times and we can make it even cooler we can go four iron range tab that over tab everything else over and let's make it look nice so let's go here we'll tab down one then we'll do um def um square So now we're going to define this. I believe I did that syntax right. It's part of coding. You always forget how syntax works. Well, okay, let's, we'll do that in a minute. But that's just, OK. So we're going to tab all of this back one. And then we're going to press run. And so look, there we go. There's our little turtle arrow. As you can see, it went 450 pixels, turned right, turned right, turned right, turned right, went forward, turned right, went forward, turned right. Which is, it works. It's good. We can, therefore, from there, make it bigger if we wanted to. So let's say we want to make it 500, I guess. We could do that. And watch, it'll get bigger. And that's really part of the joy of coding. You can build things big. And as you saw earlier, I complete, I'm completely forgot how to define a variable. 
which is the cool thing. You can ask other people how it works and you can figure it out for yourself. You can learn new things, right? So if we go to these, the you can poke around. This, it's a hash. Do, how did I figure out what that was? I looked it up and I poked around in places. That's the main thing of coding, but like this, and you can do that and we can now take that and make other things that like look cool. So for example, we have, we go here, I've made other things before. Like um, if we go to, I believe I did, yeah, this one. I think I had like, it wasn't, it's not actually a maze. Oh no, I think this one was a maze, yeah. I made a little maze thing. And if I click on it, it'll wait for it. Okay. Wait for it. Give it a second. Hold on. It's got to load. Okay. I remember I did not finish this. I called it finish for a reason, but it's besides the point. If we go to EEE, -E -E, this one, I believe. All right. Ah, yes, Tetris. This was fun to make. So if you click here, as you can see, we can control where that block goes kind of. Now it's pretty wonky, like it disappears sometimes, like see? But you can make cool things like this. The novelty of it is that. And that's really what you get out of coding. You see all the code here? You get to define things, the variables and stuff like that, the variables. It's really cool. All right. Thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. But yeah. Thank you. Hey guys, um, future me here. I just wanted to let you guys know and to clarify some things in the video. Um, the demonstration of the other projects was not the best, but what I was most trying to get at is, and I'm aware that Python Turtle is not the most advanced language, what I'm really trying to get at here is coding is something you can make and do whatever you want with, and I really want to convey that message to other people so they try coding for themselves. Just wanted to clarify that. Thank you for watching.